So when I was making the last video, I found a written guide on how to beat every AI on Stronghold Heaven. It's probably a really old guide, but I remember using this kind of guides to beat the game back in the day. I'm not exactly sure how old this is, but I'm assuming these are all from when the Extreme Edition was released. But without any further ado, let's see what they have to say. First of all, there's the description of every Lord, and I'm pretty sure these are all from the game's original manual. Along with their nicknames, their unit composition and the difficulty. But the most interesting part is gonna be the strategy guides. Pathetic in all regards. Don't use his paths though, break down the walls by his keep. I'm not sure what it means by not using his paths, but let's continue. To take on the rat, build anything but archers and spearmen. I suggest swordsmen. No matter how well he's doing, 24 of them will wipe him out. I mean sure, swordsmen are definitely unstoppable against him. But I don't get the archer part. Archers are literally the best units against rat, so you definitely should make a lot of them against him. But on to the next guide. I don't remember snake ever making fire throwers. And slingers are not mentioned here either. But anyway. The snake's castle is very vulnerable to fire. I mean out of everyone in this game, snake is the last AI base I'll be thinking about using fire against. But sure. The snake can prove to be quite menacing, as he uses his ladderman as a form of human shield. When he charges in, try to have some pitch ready for them. If unprepared it can be quite overwhelming and disastrous. To kill the snake, I recommend using catap- Okay wait wait wait. Dude, we're talking about snake. What's this wall of text all about? Just make archers and be done with it. Who the hell even uses fire against light units? Let's move on to the pig. Non-crenellated, however the two towers of crossbows can prove annoying. Treb them out before a direct assault. Okay actual good advice here. I like it. Tactics, another fairly easy kill, however you must watch his crossbowmen. Treb out his walls, then move in with crossbows to take out any remaining crossbowmen. Have a garrison of pikemen and or swordsmen handy to take out the macemen. Move in for the kill. Fire isn't effective here, you'll burn one or two things down, but not before he sends in crossbows to take out your ballista. Once again it might be trying too hard. You don't really want to use swordsmen against him though. Because armored units are the worst thing you can make against crossbowmen. But honestly this was a solid guide. Let's see what's happening on Wolf's guide. To defend against the wolf, be sure to have crossbowmen standing guard. Archers will help against the pikemen, but will do you no good against them. Watch out though, as he tends to use pitch. I mean even though this one was quite long, I still think it's not complete. But it certainly does make valid points. I mean each one of the wolf's castle require their own separate guide. So I won't nitpick on this one. Now let's see Saladin. So it basically says kill the mangonels and ballistas. And while you're on that, burn down his castle with fire ballistas or slaves. Nice strategy there too. The main defense of Saladin's castle are the mangonels and ballistas. And the guide does point that out really well. Caliph. Even though the Caliph has thin walls with only lookout towers, his extensive use of fire makes up for it. Try to demolish all the lookout towers you can and have an overload of your melee troops. Fire throwers, pitch, and oil must be avoided as much as possible. If some pitch is triggered, get your troops out, then move in once the fire's gone. And as for defense strategy. Several archers, tilde 10, guarding quarries and ore farms will do in the beginning, because the caliph will send slaves to torch your quarries or farms, depending if you have quarries or not. When he attacks, think smaller scale Saladin, horse archers, Arabian swordsmen, 
slaves, fire ballistae and catapults, so have mounted ballistae and archers or crossbowmen. Add in some supporting fire ballistae at the front wall of your castle, this'll help a lot. Too long, didn't care, didn't ask. But honestly the guarding of your quarry's advice was nice. Everything else was too much. There's also an attack strategy on this one. Which is cool and all, but once again it tells you to use swordsman against fire. Please do not use swordsman against fire. I mean the sultan isn't really worth reading, he didn't even bother to say a lot about him either. Let's move on to Richard instead. Concentric design, very hard to get into, and very productive. No. Fake news. Richard's castle is way too easy honestly. Compared to his attack power, his defense doesn't really stay up to par. Tactics. It does mention his fear factor, and he advises you to get the mangonels and ballistas first. I'm not really sure why this one had to be this dramatic though. Like it's fine dude, just move a group of horse archers near his castle, and everything is gonna be fine. The Frederick. Frederick's castle is arguably one of the best AI castles in the game. It is large, well defended, and moat surrounded. He occasionally has trebuchets ready to attack any close enough buildings including siege tents so watch for those. He also has a battery of towers at the tip of his castle manned with mangonels. Try to get troops on top of it when you siege. Well you guys already know who has the best castle in the game. Check out my best AI castles video if you haven't. Just like King Philip, Frederick will also get knights to destroy buildings pretty early, so get crossbowmen quick. He also sieges very similar to Richard, just with knights coming and going, so crossbowmen and ballistae are effective again here, just also add extra fire ballistae near the base of your walls. Pretty good advice, except that this AI is completely broken and doesn't even play the game. Attack Strategy Make sure to treb out Frederick's battery of towers, or get crossbowmen on top of them, and just fire on him. However, this is unnecessary, and you can just have troops fill in his moat, and get through his walls. And watch out for Frederick's killing pits, which are scattered around his castle in apparently random places. The pits are roughly marked on the map in green dots, but expect them to be anywhere. Well once again. Frederick was always AFK in my experience, and never had any troops guarding his castle. It actually calls Philip even weaker than Rat. And does mention the night attacks too. So Philip's guide is perfect. And since this video is long enough, I'll end the video here. I actually had fun reading through these. By the way this video isn't made to make fun of the authors, obviously this is from a long time ago. But it was pretty cool to read. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And now you probably know where I steal ideas from.